Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Haley Mylon. He's Jeff Harris. And this is the Delmarva Sports Insider. That it is. We've got a jam-packed show this week, so let's get right into it. We got the word, folks. One of the biggest stars of Delaware High School football has announced where he'll be playing his college ball. Plus, with the White Marlin Open officially out of Ocean City, Haley, lots of room opened up for the OC Lacrosse Classic. Oh, we yeah. have an inside look in just a bit. And don't worry, Ravens fans, we've got tabs on things down in Owings Mills as the Ravens prepare for the upcoming regular season. In fact, we're so ready for football that these training camps we've been going to right. here at the high school level on the shore, they're really just a tease for our sports team. Now, the other day, you actually stopped by Bennett to check out right. the Clippers as they played host to the Washington Jaguars in a scrimmage. Now, that was a rematch of their season opener last year, which they actually won 27 nice. to 19. A little Bayside South action there. Last season, the Clippers were five and five. A lot of their losses coming from those top teams up in the Bayside North. Now, the other day, the team focused on fundamentals, which head coach Hoop Gibson was pleased with. He thinks his guys, they're embracing the team mentality this year, one day at a time, especially his upperclassmen. Yeah, it was a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but I'm very pleased. No turnovers. We didn't fumble the ball. We didn't throw an interception. All the fundamentals were exactly where we need to be. Just need to fine tune some things on the O line, and I think we'll be all right. Now, Haley, I want to say before we transition to our next team that yesterday we talked about it in the weather. We saw the forecast hot and humid all day. I know, and you were out there. We're out there. We're shooting. I know a few of our other shooters were out filming. I sure, believe yeah. was out in Del Mar. And yep. all these players, you know, they gave them enough water breaks, but they wanted to be out there. And right. that was one of yep. the, the best parts about it. They wanted to play. They wanted to scrimmage. They wanted to face these teams because they're going to see them in the regular season. Just a fantastic time do. to see Yeah, that's what training. you got to do to, you know, break camp with a good standing on, on the squad. Right. And um, getting a look at this Bennett team, we went to Parkside. We got a look at the Rams, who are kind of the city champions yep. right now. You know, they beat Y High and Bennett outright last year. So it's interesting to see Bennett preparing for a winning season to get over that 500 hump and look to take the city title. You know? And they're very optimistic about it. Yep. But we're going to transition to Easton, who took many by surprise actually last season and entered the season this year driven and extremely focused. We caught a glimpse of their squad pretty much during some training sessions and a quick glance at their team heading into the upcoming season. The Warriors are coming off a 7-3 and three campaign last year where they earned a playoff berth. Easton returns several upperclassmen who have their eyes set on yet another postseason berth. The Warriors are just about two weeks away from their first game of the season, hosting, as we just mentioned, Washington under the lights on a Friday night. And senior quarterback Mason Ledford and linebacker, one of their linebackers, Carter Taylor, they are nothing but business heading into the season. Um, I mean, we're coming out today. We're competing for positions, all of us. Nobody's got a starting spot guaranteed. We're definitely going to build off of last year. Missing the playoffs by 14 points is rough, but we're going to use it to fuel us to uh, shock the Bayside this year. Uh, really, it's just to do our assignments. Uh, I think we got to get better on those. Last year, we started off slow on defense, and I think we got to speed it up and learn our assignments faster, and I think it'll help us out in the end. So, Jeff, I got to tell you, yeah, that Easton team, Jeff's first football season here on the shore. You can tell it's him true. he's very excited. Hopefully, you don't have a favorite yet because I you love have to football. see a lot I really more team. I really enjoyed Easton. You see, you Easton know, was the first team you know, I covered, and they kind of looped me in, and they had Emma Scuglin, the only female football player in the Bayside. She was fantastic, really? and that was so cool to see. She was a kicker. Her brother was a kicker. She was a three, four sport athlete, if that's even possible. I think she ran track at the same time as playing uh, as playing her spring sport, which is lacrosse. But yeah, just remarkable season for them last year, really exceeding expectations. You met Mason Ledford. I'm sure you the were impressed by yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he developed so much last season. Developed so much last season. They're extremely focused. I mean, for, for a young kid, 17, 18 years old, to come in and say, listen, I was a starting quarterback last year. We went seven and three. We had a winning season. We had a playoff berth even. And to come back in and say, you know, my position is, has not been earned just yet. Right. And to say, you know, I still need to earn this. Same thing with uh, Carter Taylor, with our linebacker. It's just, it, it's a nice thing to see. There's, uh, a song, the there's a song that's trending now, Be Humble, right? Something like that. Something like that. If more, Trey were here, he would know. The, the yeah, I'm not going to rap, but I think he's taking some notes from that song. We're hitting a commercial break, but when we come back, we're taking things from the Bayside up to Delaware. We're going to check in with some of our Hen Lothan Conference teams. Stay tuned. I'm 
with Coach Brenda Riley, head football coach of the Parkside Rams, and we're watching the Delmarva Sports Insider on WMDT.